Today, I'm making my very first maple syrup based mead. Let's get started. For anyone unfamiliar with this style of mead, it's an Acer Glen. So we categorize it as this because it incorporates maple syrup along with regular honey. The hope is to keep the honey character while also bringing in some really nice maple syrup flavor profiles. This style of mead is really fun to make, it's just different. You don't see it on the market very often. I first want to give a huge shout out to Marshall for sharing this maple syrup with me. The first step to making an Acer Glen is to get some quality maple syrup and Marshall has helped me out big time, so shout out to him. We gathered our ingredients for the recipe on screen and we were ready to get started. This recipe features about 60% sugar from maple syrup and 40% sugar from honey. We really want to pronounce the nice character of the maple syrup, and there is a yeast that is wonderful at doing this. It's the Lauvin QA23. Maple syrup has somewhere around 300 different terpenes in it. Terpenes are naturally occurring chemical compounds found in plants and some animals. They're responsible for the aromas, flavors, and even colors associated with various types of vegetation. Essentially, they are what makes some foods more flavorful than others. These terpenes often bind to glucosides, and the Lauvin QA23 ferments very well with high terpene brews. After the primary, we're going to do some extra additions to really balance and make this brew taste amazing, so we'll get to that soon. So, I sanitized my equipment and then started mixing everything up. I wanted to use mostly Fermate O for my nutrition, so I'm going to add my nutrients at the beginning of fermentation so I don't have to think about it. Our starting gravity was about 1.082. So we're looking at a little over a 10.5% ABV brew. This mead took around 30 days to ferment from 1.082 to 1.000. I went ahead and racked the brew into a new container and let it set for a few days. I then did a quick taste test, so here's that. All right, we are 42 days into fermentation. I went ahead and racked it over because I saw it slow down, start to clear up some, the yeast were flocculating at the bottom, so that kind of says, hey, we're done. Um, gravity is 1.000. We started at 1.082. From what I've heard, these take a little while to uh, become nice. Let's see what it tastes like at 42 days old. Well, it's definitely got a little bit of um, yeastiness mixed in there. It's got some heat. It does, that, that acerglin side, the maple syrup has fermented in a little bit of a weird way. It's much more dark. It's almost got a little bit of a, um, I think this is partially because of the uh, uh, yeast, the QA23, QA23 that we used, the, there's a um, orangey kind of citrusy note. It definitely needs some time. Here's what I'm going to do. This is a little bit of headspace. I'm not going to be too concerned about it now. I'm going to come back in a couple weeks and decide what to do, but it needs some time to chill before I decide to adjust anything. From here, I ended up leaving the brew alone for about two months. I just set it aside and let it start to clear up. I finally decided to rack it again after it really started to clear and then went ahead and stabilized it. I stabilized it with potassium sorbate and metabisulfite because they're quick and easy and efficient. After stabilizing and waiting for 24 hours, I went ahead and added one pound of Christmas berry honey and one ounce of mocha oak chips. I'm planning on oaking this for about two weeks and then seeing where it's at. The current gravity is 1.008, after getting some notes from a friend, I felt like it needed more maple character. So I went ahead and racked it off the oak after about two weeks and then added one pound of maple syrup to back sweeten further. This brought the final gravity up to 1.020 and pronounced more maple character. We let that set for about a month and then we bottled it. So let's get to a tasting. All right, here we are for the finale of this Acer Glen. Now, um, I have already bottled it. I'll show you a quick clip of that. And um, well, really, I just, I didn't do the, I didn't record the whole bottling process. There's videos out if you wanna learn how to bottle a brew. I kept a little bit of it in this glass. So this is part of it. I got a bunch of bottles from this, um, as you see on the screen. So I'm super excited to not only just share those with friends, but I have big plans to submit part of those bottles to future competitions, the Mazer Cup, Valkyrie's Horn, um, a bunch of the other mead competitions, uh, probably next year as it ages more. But 
what does this thing taste like? Let's see. So on the nose, it's like, I got a little um, rich chocolatey side, but it also has the um, maple syrupy warmth that's there. A little bit of a bright floral honey coming from the honey choice for this one. Yeah, there's like a bright uh, overarching floral value there that's super nice. I mean, it, it smells fantastic. It smells smooth. It's got sweetness to it. I mean, it's got all of those characters. I think we just go ahead and try it. Oh man, that is delightful. There is a, a little bit of a, not a coffee note, but you get the mocha coffee-esque idea from this. Because of those chips, it's got a lot of tannic value, meaning that it really kind of clings around for a while. It's kind of thick. Oh yeah, and it's got a little bit of like a, a nuttiness plus your maple syrup side. That QA23, as we've talked about in this video, does really well with terpenes, which the Acer Glen has a lot of those in them, which makes it very flavorful. It's, it's pretty dang smooth right now. And I mean, we're setting at 10 and a half percent. 1020 uh, vinyl gravity is, is a really nice point for this recipe. I feel like it's just sweet enough to pronounce the honey character that we get, that we like, plus the maple syrup, but it doesn't make it cloying or painful. I am a huge fan of this. And I am super thankful to Marshall, who's the guy who actually sent me the maple syrup, for sending that to me. What's fun about this is I took this over to Doing the Most and used it for a Palette Expanders, which is a, uh, a video series where him and I um, basically bring mystery bottles of mead to one another and then we taste test them and we have to tell the other person what they brought. And uh, so I brought this and I developed and started to alter things because of the notes he gave me. And you can go and watch, I'll link it below, but he gave me some really nice notes about this mead and what he wanted more of. Um, and so I, that's what, why I made some of my changes. I've learned a few things from this. One, for sure, QA23 is probably a, the perfect yeast for this thing. Two, mocha oak works really well with this recipe. It gives it kind of a roasty, toasty side, which is interesting. Uh, and the third thing is maple syrup and honey obviously go well together, but this brew needed to be back sweetened with more maple syrup because I wanted to bring out more of that character. I think after fermentation, we did lose a little bit of that, but sweetness, especially sweetness from this uh, maple syrup works well. You can absolutely take the recipe on screen, sub out your other honeys. I just so happen to use two kind of interesting or different kind of honeys for this one, um, but I do think they turned out really good. This is a solid brew. I am stoked to see how it does in the future at some competitions with some age. I feel like it's just going to get more warm and even better with time. So I hope you've enjoyed this. If you would like to support the channel, it's as easy as hitting like and just that just says, hey, I like the video, but also subscribing. That tells me you want to see more stuff. I have a ton of recipes on this channel. And I'm hopeful that a video like this stays between 10 and 15 minutes at max because you should be able to pick up all the information you need from a video in that time. I wanna do all in one videos to help you out. So this, this process takes a while and supporting the channel by liking, subscribing tells me, hey, I appreciate that. Um, this, from start to finish, this video has been probably, I don't know, seven or eight months, so feel free to hit that button. Uh, I, I wanna honor your time. Uh, the people who post 45 minute plus all-in-one videos are not honoring your time. <laughs> so, sorry. I hope you've enjoyed this. I am gonna make more of this. In fact, Marshall, my friend, I still have about five pounds of this right here. I would say that that is enough for me to go ahead and go crazy and make some more um, of this delicious mead. So thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. I hope to see you in a future video. Cheers. <laughs>